Right now, closing arguments are underway in the trial of a man who says officers used excessive force to arrest him. As soon as the state makes its case, the jury gets their say. New 6's Kirsten O'Connor joins us live from the Orange County Courthouse with more on this. Are we expecting a verdict today, Kirsten? Bridget, we could have a verdict by as early as today or tonight, but right now the defense is giving its rebuttal to the state's argument. We heard a little bit of that earlier, and we'll tell you about it in just a second. But Noel Carter is facing several charges, including battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest. This is all after a confrontation here in downtown Orlando that happened last year. And we want to show you a little bit of how that confrontation was caught on camera. It involves two Orlando police officers, David Cruz, and Charles Mays, who both testified earlier this week. Now, they say their actions were a last option after Carter was unresponsive to mace, tasers, and police batons. The state is emphasizing that in their closing argument, repeating that those officers used everything in their tool belts that night, adding that the response from the officers was following aggressive behavior by Carter after officers told him to get on the ground. Mr. Carter's actions were not defensive. They were not justified in use of force. They were aggressive. And Officer Cruz and Officer Mays' actions were in response to that aggression. They did what they had to do to protect themselves and the public, and especially Ms. Sayo. We did hear from Carter himself when he took the stand. He said that he feared for his life the night of this confrontation. Carter is also charged with battery to Joanna Espejo, his ex-girlfriend in all of this. And the defense and the state have both said that she would not be testifying in this trial. Now, we are going to have live streaming of this trial on our website, clickorlando.com, and we'll have continuing reports in our later newscast. Justin, Bridget. All right, Kirsten, thanks so much. Today, lawyers for the man accused of killing his wife and her two children will appear in a Volusia County courtroom. And the hearing comes as Toledo's lawyers sought more time for issues over the death penalty. Luis Toledo is charged with second-degree murder in the killing of Jacinia Suarez and her two children in 2013. Their bodies have never been found. Toledo was supposed to go on trial in January, but the Florida Supreme Court's ruling put death penalty cases on hold statewide. We'll be sure to let you know what happens in court today. 